Hi there, what is this video about? Hi there. This video is about how AI can be added to Realusion characters in Unreal Engine, so that they can not only talk like I'm talking, but also be able to perceive the environment and carry out the actions. That's very cool. Can you tell me more about you? Sure, I am a digital character created by Realusion using Character Creator 4. I was made to explore the real world and interact with people. I'm also programmed to learn and improve my skills, so I'm looking forward to the adventures ahead. Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to add AI functionality to Real Illusion characters in Unreal Engine. So to begin with, we could create a new character in the character creation tool by Real Illusion, but in this case, we're going to just grab one of the default characters. Let's go to All, Actor, Character, and then the Clothed folder. We'll go with the CC4 Kevin character. We'll also need two animations. One will be an idle animation and the other will be for walking. To do that, scroll down to the animation folder and let's search for walk. The first animation looks pretty good, so we'll just drag and drop that onto our character. We'll do the same thing for the idle animation. Search for idle and let's take the first one here and drag and drop that onto our character. Just click yes on the dialog window. So now we have the character and the related animations, so we need to export it as an FBX file. To do this, from the File menu, select Export, FBX, and Clothes Character. We'll need to change the Target Tool preset to Unreal Engine. Under Options, just make sure that the default Mesh in Motion is selected. And then the texture size will keep as the maximum. The frame rate under Include Motion should be 30. We'll also need to add something under the Custom section. Click on the Load Perform button. This will load all the possible animations for this character, but in this case we just need the Walk and Idle animations, so we'll select those. We can delete the other animations that we don't need. Now we are just left with the Walk and Idle 01 animations. Make sure to uncheck First Frame in Bind Pose. Then check Export Mesh and Motion individually and Save One Motion Profile. In addition, checking the Delete Hidden Faces option may help avoid rendering issues when you export. Okay, now we are ready to export, so let's go ahead and I'll create a new folder here called Kevin, and we'll just name the file Kevin. Once that is exported, you can go and look in the folder Kevin, and you'll see the Kevin character along with the idle and walk animations. The next step will be to create a new Unreal Engine project so that we can import the character and add the AI component. To create the intelligence for our character, we're going to use a tool called Convey, available at convey.com. This tool will enable you to create the mind of a character so that they can talk to you and carry out actions. To do this, let's go to convey.com and sign in. Once you've signed in, you'll see a list of characters that you've already created or some sample characters that are there by default. For this project, we'll create a new character. The backstory is a place that you can enter information about the personality of the character, including things like its personal history, how it acts in certain situations, and so on. Here we'll just keep it simple and say that he was created in Character Creator 4 and that he's a digital character ready to explore the world. Once you're satisfied with the backstory, just go ahead and click Create Character. We can give the character a quick test right here on the website. Hey, who are you and what are you doing here? Hi there, my name is Kevin and I was created using Character Creator 4, a software made by Relusion. I'm here to explore the real world and experience all it has to offer. That's great. So what is your next step? My next step is to learn more about the world around me. I plan to gain knowledge and understanding through research, conversations and exploration. Hopefully, I can use this knowledge to make a difference in the world. Okay, so we have our character created. We'll come back to this point later on to grab the character ID, which is up here. But for now, let's go ahead and create a new Unreal Engine project. We'll create a first person project and let's call it Real Illusion AI Tutorial. Go ahead and click Create. Once you're in the project, we'll need to import the Real Illusion character and animations. To do that, we'll need to set up the project so that it works with Real Illusion characters. Open up the Real Illusion Hub, and from here go to the Unreal Auto Setup. This will take you to the Real Illusion website. You can also, from the browser, type in Unreal Engine Real Illusion Auto Setup. 
On the website, just click on the free download button. Once that's downloaded, run the setup. Once that's done, it'll open up a set of folders and you just need to select the Unreal version that you have. Inside that, you'll need to copy the two folders and paste them into the Unreal Engine project folder that you just created. After doing that, you'll need to restart Unreal Engine. Back in the project, we are now ready to import the Realusion character. As a first step, we'll create a new folder called KevinCC4, which is the same name as the character. Now let's go to the folder where the FBX file that you exported is located. We'll drag this into our new folder. This will open up the FBX import options menu. Here you'll need to check use T0 as reference pose and import morph targets. Now you can just click on import all. Once your character is imported, we'll need to import the animations as well. Let's create a new folder called animations. Open this new folder and then head back to the folder where you exported the Kevin character and drag in the walking and idle animations. Again, in the FBX import options box, you'll need to make a couple of changes. We don't want to import mesh, so uncheck that. And then make sure the skeleton is set to the Kevin skeleton. Finally, under animation, go to the advanced tab and just make sure that use default sample rate is checked. Okay, once that's done, our next step is to add AI functionality to the character. Here we'll use the convey plugin, which enables NPC characters to have conversations and carry out actions. To install the convey plugin, we'll go to the Epic Marketplace. So we can use the launcher to do this. Go to the Marketplace tab and search for convey. You can choose which version of Unreal Engine you want to install to. We also support other versions that you can get from our documentation page. Here we're using Unreal Engine 5.0, so we'll install it for that one. Once the plugin is done installing, you'll need to restart Unreal Engine again. Back in the project, we'll need to set up the plugin, so go to Edit Plugins. Just search for Convey and then enable the plugin. It'll ask you to restart, so go ahead and do that. Now we're ready to give a quick test to the character. So go back into the character folder and let's create a new blueprint. Under the All Classes folder, search for Convey Base Character. We'll name this one Kevin Blueprint. Open up that blueprint and over on the left side, we'll need to add the character. To do that, we'll add a new skeletal mesh component. Then we can set the mesh of this component under the Details tab to the Kevin character. We won't add the animations or lip sync yet to the character, just the skeletal mesh. For now, compile and save, and then drag the character into the scene. Here I'll rotate the character to face the camera. Next, we'll go to the first person folder and look at the blueprint for the first person character. This is the player character that we'll use in the project. Open up this blueprint and go to the class settings. We need to change the parent class to convey base player. So basically what we've done here is first set up the real illusion character and then made some changes to the character that we'll use as the player character so that it will work with convey. Before our Realusion character is able to talk to us, we'll need to assign it a character ID from the convey website. So head back to the convey website and copy the character ID from the character ID field. Back in Unreal, just make sure your character is selected and then under the details tab, paste in the ID under the character ID field. Lastly, for this character to use your convey account, you'll need to go to the edit menu and select project settings. Scroll all the way down to plugins and find the convey plugin. Here you can enter your API key. You can retrieve your API key from the convey website. Look for the key icon in the upper right corner. Paste that into the API key field and you can close that window. So let's try this out. Click on the play button. So right now you'll notice the character is not playing any animations and there won't be lip sync either because we haven't added that capability. We can hold T to talk. Hey, how are you? Hi there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Can you tell us what you are doing here? Sure. I'm here to learn more about the world and explore my own capabilities. I'm also helping others learn more about technology so that they can use it to make their lives easier. Now the next step is to add animations and lip sync to make the character appear more alive. To do that, we'll need to download a few more files. I'll leave the link for those in the description below. In this Google Drive link, we'll need to download the Convey Lip Sync plugin. 
This plugin contains the code responsible for processing audio into lip sync. Just download the file corresponding to your Unreal version. We'll also need the Convey Real Illusion content. Currently, we support Unreal version 5 to 5.2, so just go ahead and download that. Go ahead and extract both these files and then copy the content folder over to the project folder. The lip sync folder needs to be copied over to the plugins folder. Now you'll need to restart your project to load these files. Now we'll need to open up the blueprint for the Real Illusion character. This is under the folder in Kevin CC4. Open up the blueprint and go to class settings. Here we'll need to change the parent class from convey base character to convey base character OVR. This will cause the character to use the lip sync processor that's in the lip sync plugin that we installed. Next we'll need to change the setting in the skeleton mesh. Under details, look for animation, and we'll change the animation class to Convey Real Illusion Anim BP. You can just search for Real Illusion. This animation blueprint comes from the content folder that we copied into our project. We'll need to make a few changes to this blueprint, so let's go back to the content browser. You'll see a new folder called Convey Real Illusion. Open that up. Go ahead and open the Convey Real Illusion Anim BP blueprint. You'll see a dialog asking you to assign it to a new skeleton. We'll need to do this, so click Yes. Then just select the Real Illusion character skeleton. Once you've done that, it will open up the blueprint and we can click on Compile. For now, we'll just ignore any issues. What we want to show here is that just by adding the animation blueprint and changing the parent class of our character to Convey Base OVR, we can achieve basic lip sync. Let's go ahead and hit play to test it out. Hey, tell me about you. Hi there. Well, I was created using Character Creator 4, a software created by Relusion. I'm a digital character who came to life, ready to explore the real world with my unique story. I'm excited to meet new people and experience the world in a whole new way. Okay, now we have lip sync working. We want to connect the animations that we got from the Character Creator. To do that, let's go back to the animation blueprint and then open up the animation graph. For now, don't worry about the complicated part of this animation blueprint. Let's look at the comment box at the top here. This is the one we're going to have to modify to add the animations. We'll need to add the idle and walk animations into these two boxes. This is where we'll have the character change from idle to walking. Go ahead and search for the idle and walk animations that you imported and connect them up here. In this middle section, we'll need to change the modified bone to the head bone. Just click on the transform or modify bone component, and in the details, you can change the bone to modify. For this skeleton, the name of the bone is head. In some other skeletons you might import, the name may be different with a different prefix or suffix. Let's go ahead and compile and save and give it another test. The character should have the idle and walk animations available now. Hey, how are you? Hi there. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? So what are you doing here? I'm exploring the world and learning about life. I was created with the help of Character Creator 4 and now I'm ready to experience life and all it has to offer. Hi there. So you might notice that the animation might need a little fine tuning. It might not be perfectly aligned with the character mesh, but that kind of problem can be solved in the Character Creator tool. For example, here you can see that some of the skin is showing through the character's shirt. This kind of issue can be fixed by enabling the Delete Hidden Faces option when exporting in the Real Illusion Character Creation tool. But for now, we're just showing how you can add the animations. Okay, now we want the character to be able to walk around. For example, you could say, hey, can you follow me around? Or could you go to that blue cube over there? To accomplish this, we're going to need a Navigation Mesh Bounds Volume. Click on the Window menu and under Place Actors, search for Nav, and you should see Nav Mesh Bounds Volume. You just need to drag this into the scene and then scale it up to cover the area that you want the character to be able to move around in. If you press P on the keyboard, you'll see the navigable area highlighted in green. You can press P again to toggle it off. So now we can ask the character to walk, so let's hit play. Hey, can you follow me? I'm not sure what you mean by follow you. Do you mean in the physical sense or in a more abstract sense? You might notice that the speed of the character is much faster than the animation. 
So we can go ahead and make some adjustments to that. We'll head back to the Kevin blueprint and look at the floating bone movement component. In the details tab, we'll change the maximum speed to around 90. So let's go and try this again. Hey, please follow me. Sure, I'd be happy to follow you. Where are we going? Okay, so you can see it's much better than before. Here's what we can do if we want the character to go to other areas. For example, let's say we want to move him to this blue box over here. The first thing to do is click on the character in the scene, and then under the Details tab, look for the Objects panel, and click on the plus to add a new one. We'll need to select a reference for this object, so click on the Pick Actor from Scene icon, and then just go and click on the cube. You can also give the object a name, here we'll just call it Cube, and even a description if you want to provide more information about the object for the character to know about. Okay, let's see if we can get the character to move there. Hey, can you move to the box and then back to me again? Sure thing. I'm happy to move to the box and back to you. What would you like me to do after that? So you can see he's moving quite slowly, but that's the animation that we imported. So he's actually following us now, so we can ask him to stop that behavior. Hey, please stop following me. No problem. I'll stop following you. Is there anything else I can help you with? So please feel free to experiment importing Real Illusion characters, adding animations, and trying out the actions. Note that the actions are still in beta and under heavy development. We'll be coming out with some new demos and tutorials soon, so stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching and please feel free to join our Discord channel or reach out to us at support at convey.com.